Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel guys today in this short video lecture i will discuss the most often asked question in civil engineering especially non civil engineering people during building construction or before starting building construction they are asking how to calculate or how do we estimate the quantity of steel in rcc slab so guys today in this video i will clear your concept about steel quantity just in two steps how do we estimate the quantity of steel bar for rcc slab so let's start guys if this video is helpful for you so don't forget to like this video so guys the method first you can make a rough estimate by using thumb rule by using thumb rule if you need the quantity of steel in detail so for that you will find the total area of slab or you will find the length and width of slab then you will find the uh, spacing between main bars and distribution bars then length of main bars and length of distribution bar etc so especially for non civil engineering it's difficult so i'm making it easy for you people especially for non civil engineering people that you can make rough estimate by using thumb rule okay this is the old method about 80 kg steel is required for 1 cubic meter of slab okay so for 1 cubic meter concrete are for 1 cubic meter slab we required 80 kg of steel bars this is the first method for example how you can find and how you can calculate we required 80 kg of steel bars for example guys if the slab size is 10 meter by 10 meter by 0.8 meter mean suppose guys this is rcc slab and the slab width is 10 meter this and its length is also 10 meter and thickness of the slab is thickness this is at section thickness is 0.2 meter this okay so if the slab size is 10 by 10 meter by 0. Our thickness is 0.2 0.2 meter. Okay, so guys, you can see when you do calculation for this, so concrete volume become 10 multiply 10 multiply 0.2, so it become 20 cubic meter. Okay, so therefore steel is 80 kgs. Okay, so 80 kg multiply 20 because for one cubic meter we required estimation of steel is 80 kg for 1 cubic meter concrete slab so we have the total volume of slab from this example 10 by 10 by thickness 0.2 meter then the total volume of the slab become guys 20 cubic meter so 20 cubic meter multiply 80 kg so guys we required 1600 kg of steel r 1.6 mt okay metric ton steel is required for this slab So for one cubic meter, we required generally by thumb rule 80 kg of steels. Second method we have also, guys, that is another thumb rule can be used that one percent steel by volume of slab. So for RCC slab, okay. So the volume from the volume of concrete, we will use the quantity of steel just one percent by volume of slab. How? So for above slab volume the above slab volume is 20 cubic meter so the steel is 1% of 20 cubic meter the steel is 1% of 20 cubic meter so guys 20 divided by 100 so it becomes 0.2 0.2 cubic meter as you can see so in 20 cubic meter we required 0.2 cubic meter estimation of steel from 1% so guys 0.2 this is the volume of steel required in the volume of slab which is 
20 cubic meters. So 0.2 is the volume of steel multiply 78.50 kg per meter cube. So guys, this is the density of steel. Okay. So density of steel is 78.50 kg per meter cube. So 0.2 volume of steel multiplies 78.50 kg per meter cube. So guys, we required 15.70 kg steel for this lab. So here we have 1600 uh, uh, kg and here we have 1570 with the help of 1% of steel by volume of slab. Okay, or 1.57 metric ton steel is required to cover 10 by 10 by 0.2 meter so guys this is the formula by which you can find the quantity of steel by thumb rule if you want to find the uh, total quantity of steel for rcc slab in detail so there you will find the dimensions from that dimensions you will find the total numbers of steel bars with the help of uh, spacing for main bars and distribution bars then you will select the diameter of steel bar especially for main bars and distribution bars so from that uh, from that formula you are able to find the quantity of steel in detail but this is just by thumb rule especially for non civil engineering people and also for civil engineering students if someone asks from you that how do we estimate the quantity of steel for rcc slabs so you can help them by given terms which i have discussed the front of you so guys i hope it can help you on a construction site and also uh, to tell someone about the estimation of steel so guys if you have any question about this video so you can comment i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye